this video we are going to learn how we can lay out portions of our inspection across the page in columns instead of straight down the page. Let's take a look at the inspection at this point by selecting the preview button on the top toolbar. Notice how the information is flowing down the page. Our goal is to make it flow across the page instead. Let's go ahead and exit the print preview. The first thing we need to do is turn on advanced options. To do this, click in the Preferences pull-down menu, and then select Preferences. Then make sure Enable Advanced Options has a check mark next to it. Then click OK. Next, click the first subheading you wish to lay across the page. We are going to click on Inspection Date. You will notice a option called Override Print Layout. We are going to create a template which will override the way the inspection looks in this area of the inspection. The template will affect all subheadings following the one where the template is set up until it reaches the next heading. Click the button to the right of Override Print Layout. We are going to create a template which will override the way the inspection looks in this area of the inspection. We can reuse this template in other places throughout the inspection. We are going to name it Subheadings Across Page. Now we are going to click into the Editor area. Then we are going to select Insert and select Subheading Matrix. Select the properties you want and then click OK. In this example we are going to change the subheading color to black. Then we are going to change the number of columns to 4. After doing so click OK. Now you will see our matrix template. It's important to note that template colors will override any rich text for the subheadings it applies to. Matrix templates are designed for use to print short text information only in columns. Images will not work in subheadings using them, thus this option is only suitable for certain types of information such as client information. Now you can make any final adjustments to the way it looks, such as changing the fonts or font size. We are going to select the whole area and change the font size to be 9 points. Then we're going to click Save. Next, if we want to make this change in our future inspections, we want to click Modify in Master Forms. Then click OK. Let's preview our inspection using the Preview button on the top toolbar to see how it looks. You'll now see the information going across the page. Now we're done. 